How's it going, my friends? So uh, it's Sunday afternoon, and I uh, just got done uh, cutting the yard, doing some yard work, and whatnot. Got a couple hours. I think I'm going to take the, the micro M10 out and uh, see how she does. Uh, I'm not taking my cameras. I'm just going to shoot up uh, an intro like this, and then uh, once I get done, if I catch some fish, I'll put some still pictures in. But I'm going to do a comparison. Um, between this boat and my Sun Dolphin Sportsman that I tricked out and had that I sold. Um, but anyway, I will compare the two and I will give my honest opinion. So y'all watch the video and wait till the end and we will see what happens. What's going on everybody? So uh, here's the little update on the Micro M10. Not too good. Um, started off bad and got worse. Um, I put my boat in. Um, obviously, it's very light, but I put the boat in and something grabbed a hold or hung my rear wheel of my trailer underwater that I didn't see nor feel. Uh, when I pulled my boat off and, and put it up on the shore, uh, when I pulled out, my rear passenger side wheel of my trailer hung whatever that was underwater and it bent my trailer and when I mean bent I mean bent it check this picture out oh yeah so my father-in-law's on his way to help me try to try to get this trailer bent back straight where I can at least get it home. I've luckily got a spare on this trailer. I'm going to have to change the wheel because it bent the rim, the wheel, uh, on that side. And uh, it was just, and, and not, even, not even off the bank good. I catch two dinks and then I hang a good one. I think, man, I've got a good fish. This is turning around. It was about a 12-pound catfish. And... I broke my falcon rod in three, no, two places. Check this picture out. Oh yeah, so this day sucked pretty much. Um, hopefully we're gonna be able to get the trailer bent back straight and it's not gonna compromise the, the, you know, the strength of it where it bent. But we'll just have to see what happens. Um, it is what it is. Um, I'm about to starve to death, so it, that's not helping. But I'm going to get out of here and, you know, hopefully get hopefully get this trailer straightened out and get home and just try to relax, man. It's been a crazy day. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Oh, oh, let me do the comparison. Sorry, I almost forgot. Compared to the Sun Dolphin Sportsman. Now, as far as stability, hands down, the Sun Dolphin Sportsman's got it. Uh, it's more or less, a, you know, a, an eight-foot pontoon, so it's very stable left to right. Now, it did, you know, shift in the water quite a bit, which is why I put the, the rudder or the skeg on it. Um, the Micro M10, a little bit, the fish ability is a little bit better because I have a foot-controlled trolling motor. The casting deck's a little bit bigger, and I've got that storage underneath. Uh, it's two foot longer. Um, zero to ten... On the Sun Dolphin, I would have given the Sun Dolphin, once I put the skeg on it, I would have given it probably an eight. The Micro M10, um, right now, zero to 10, I'd give it about a six. Uh, it was pretty tough to fish out of with the wind, but I've got uh, I've got some stuff ordered to put a skeg on the back of it. So we'll see if that if that helps, and then I'll, you know, I'll, maybe I'll reevaluate my score. But right now, I think I'd almost give that Micro M10 away to get me another Sun Dolphin. So if you've got a Sun Dolphin or a Pelican or a Bass Raid or something like that, stick with it, guys. Those are good boats. They're good, solid boats. Um, hopefully this, this boat's going to pan out and it's going to work good when I get a skeg on the back of it and it'll hold more true in the water. But i got to fix the trailer first. got to get it home. So that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Be sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, hopefully, from the water in the Micro M10. This is Jonathan, I'm out, we'll see you.